We're getting bored. There, all done. That's revolting. Who asked you? A two-year-old could do better than that. You don't even care. See, that's where you're wrong. I love art. You? Yeah, it's a total bludge. Bludge? Beats doing schoolwork any day. Attention, class. Brushes down, eyes up. Wonderful news. From tomorrow, we will have a special guest art teacher. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Rogers, who is the artist in residence with our local council. Fantastic. We had an artist in residence at St Hilda's, my school in England. Now we might actually learn something. A guest teacher. This is great. You never do any work with a guest teacher. Hello, everyone. And please, no more Miss Rogers. Just call me Sandra. I'm really looking forward to this. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you do? She does. But don't worry. We won't be wasting a moment this week. Every night, I'll be setting you a painting to do for homework. Homework? And if you don't do your homework, you'll be back here on Saturday doing it with me. Oh, this is blackmail. Have you decided what to do for your science project yet? Well, every time I think of something, someone else is doing it. Why don't you help me with mine? I'm looking at how plants grow in different soil conditions. Those rotten emus that have tipped over the compost bin again. Oh, go Gun, away! Gun, get out of it! Go away! Shoo! Go away! Shoo! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! No worries, kids. I'll take care of these oversized chooks. <coughs> Come, guys, on your way. <coughs> wow, Finney's incredible. It's like he can talk to them. Sometimes I think he can. How does he do it? Beats me. <coughs> so, what do you reckon? You want to work on my projects with me? Thanks, anyway. But I just had an idea. Suit yourself. Now there's a project I could do. How to talk to animals. I bet no one else has thought of that one. Testing. One, two. Uh, I'll be ready sooner. Think. Take your time, Greg. I've never been interviewed before. Uh -oh. This is Greg King interviewing Vinny. Vin... What's your last name? Don't need one, mate. Always been just Vinny. OK. Just Vinny. Um. I'll read the questions and you just take your time and answer. Far away. Vinny, when did you first realise you could communicate with animals? Well... Is this a skill you were born with or something that you learned? It was... Are there any tips you could give? Greg. What is your favourite animal? Greg. Yes? You haven't done much interviewing before, have you, mate? How'd you know? You want to learn about animals? That's my plan. You want to know how to get through to them? You bet. The first thing you got to do is listen. Listen? Listen, look, learn. Listen, look, learn. In this art class, we're going to do things kind of differently. Really? How different? Art isn't about painting neat little pictures in neat little squares. No, it's not. It's not? It's life. It's passion. Art is rejecting authority and breaking the rules. Is it? Isn't she fabulous? <laughs> breaking the rules. That sounds pretty good. This week is about being brave. About using your imaginations. If not, you might as well go home. OK, then, so I'll sit down immediately. No, no, no. I, I don't want anyone to hold back. You know, he's expressing himself and that's his right. He's showing off. That's his habit. Sit. Mm. It's important to have fun with art, uh, to try new things, to explore your feelings. And that's our homework for tonight, to paint a feeling. Excellent. A feeling. We'll display and discuss first thing tomorrow. I think she's so excellent. It's so exciting to have a real teacher for a change. I think it's hopeless. Conga's dad's taken his fishing on the weekend. Now I have to do those stupid paintings, otherwise I can't go. You are so tragic. Art's what's tragic. How do you paint a feeling? Easy. A portrait of you would be nausea. A portrait of fishing would be boredom. Yeah, very funny. Mark, about your weekend fishing trip. I've been speaking to Conga's father. It's still on, isn't it? Yes, of course. But remember, he's taking you out as a favour to me. Why? Because he's a real estate agent and he wants to get the contract to sell this place. So? 
So be nice to him. I want him to find us a very rich buyer. I'm always nice to people. Could have fooled me. Hello, Mum. Everything absolutely normal. You don't need to worry about a thing. I'm so glad. Any particular reason why you're telling me that? I have vital scientific research which may change the way humans relate to the animal kingdom. That's nice. Don't forget to take your pullover. <laughs> Listen, learn. Look, listen, learn. Recording how the emus communicate is amazing, except for the fact that they actually haven't said anything yet. I'm observing the emus from my camouflaged hideout in the bush. There's so much camouflage, there's no way anyone will be able to see me here. Greg? How did you see me? It's pretty hard to miss a yellow shirt in the middle of an emu paddock. Shh, get down! I'm observing the emus and studying how they communicate. You're not serious. It could be a scientific breakthrough in major proportions. You're wasting your time, Greg. Why? Emus are the original brain-free zone. With them, it's give me food or get out of my way. Come on, why don't you help me with my plant project? It'll be awesome. Sorry, but I have important research to do. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but painting an emotion is harder than I thought it'd be. What do I paint? Jealousy? Who could I possibly be jealous of? Anger? Not another picture of Mark. Happy? A plane back home to England. It's just too hard. Why am I eating this apple? Hunger? That's an emotion. Sort of. That's what I'll paint. This is a total waste of time. I've got to paint something, though. There's no way I'm going to miss out on that fishing trip. <laughs> and what emotion is this, Mark? The emotion of who cares, Sandra? Oh, excellent, Mark. You can go play football now. Thank you, Sandra. I think I will. Making a funny gok gok sound. I think I'm on something. But I don't quite know what. Oh, oh no! Get out! Oh, oh, oh. Get out! Get out! Get out. Get out. Really sorry. It was an accident. Honestly, I was just trying to follow the emus. No sweat. Not a problem. But won't you have to do it again? It's perfect. It's the ultimate excuse. Sorry, miss, but the emus ran over my painting. Thanks, Greg. You're a real mate. Note to self, I think I'm seeing a pattern here. Look, listen, now. Hurry up, Greg, or you'll be late for school. Don't tell me you've been listening to that thing all night. Eat up. Oh, oh. Greg, are you all right? Gabriella. Something wrong with your teeth, dear? Fuck in a minute! Is it just me or is Greg actually getting weirder? Now for the moment of truth. Now to see if all my work is going to pay off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boop, 
I can do it! I can talk emu! This is a scientific breakthrough of major proportions! <laughs> All right, Gemma, what do we have here? It's a beef vindaloo in the desert. Right. Hunger. Pardon? That's a feeling. Hunger. It's a bowl of food abandoned in the barren desert. Looks more like an ad for dog food to me. Interesting. It's very, um, very interesting. Thank you, Gemma. Interesting. What sort of a non-comment was that? She could have at least said it was good after all the hard work I did. Now, what is this? I knew Mark was hopeless, but this is pathetic. Miss Rogers is going to tear him to shreds. Hmm? Um, I can explain. It's, um... It's fantastic. <coughs> it's very original. It is? It is. Sure, it's raw, but it's very imaginative. What feeling were you trying to depict, Mark? It's, um, sort of, uh, um, uh... Confusion? Yeah, um, that's it. I was, uh, really confused when I was doing it. Excellent. Excellent. Mark here has tried something new, and that's great to see. Well done, Mark. Mm. <laughs> I'm very impressed. And I'm very cheesed off. This is so unfair. <coughs> All right, what's going on? Going on? Going on? Where? Since when have you been artistic? You're all crayons and finger paintings. I'm supposed to be the talented one in this family. That's not what Sandra thinks. You're an evil little worm and you're not going to get away with this. <laughs> I think I already have. I don't know what he's up to, but I'm going to find out. Mark King is a marked man. <laughs> Check her out. She's so jealous. She's been slaving away for hours. But I know the secret of doing a perfect painting in no time. <laughs> OK, gang, time to start painting. Hey guys, keep it up. Wonder if I could sell this stuff. They sell dolphin drawings and elephant paintings. Who knows? I could probably get a few bucks out of this. Sweet. <sighs> At last, just the person I've been looking for. Yes? Seeing as Sonda thinks that your work's so imaginative, I was thinking maybe you could show me how it's done. Sorry. I knew it. You've got something to hide. No. I've already done it. What? I finished an hour ago. Where is it? I want to see it now. I'd love to show you, but, um... But what? It just wouldn't be fair on Sandra and the rest of the class. So you'll have to wait till tomorrow, like everyone else. Oh. I tried to tell him. He's making a total idiot of himself. It'll never work. I won't worry. Nothing Greg does works. With a bit of luck, the emus might eat him. Gabriella, I'm worried. Perfectly natural, dear. Nothing to worry about. Not about Greg. Oh, everyone gets worried about Greg when they first meet him. Yeah, I know, but... I'm his mother, and I was worried about him for the first six years of his life. Then I realised that's just how he is. He's acting seriously strange. Which means he's behaving perfectly normally. Relax, Kate. Greg is just Greg. Mark? It's very unusual. It's 
very smelly. It smells like bird droppings. I call it confusion too. I'm not surprised. Did it take long? Um, well, uh, I was having so much fun doing it, I, um, lost track of time. Well, Headmaster, I think this shows what very talented students you have in your school. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know, the marvellous thing about art is you don't have to like it to know that it's good. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were jealous. Me? Jealous of you? Dream on. Sandra wants me to put a painting in the district art show. She wants. And I've got the rest of the afternoon off to do it. See ya. That's outrageous. It's time I got to the bottom of this. <laughs> Mrs. Crabs! Oh, Gemma, you all right? No, miss. I'm afraid I've come down with a horrid stomachache. But you were fine in class. Oh, it's a family thing. In our jeans comes on very suddenly. Oh, dear. I'd love to stay at school, but chances are I'll be caught short with very little hope of getting to the bathroom in time. Oh, oh of course. No, you must go home immediately, if not sooner. I need to understand, Mrs. Cram. Oh, oh, I'll get your bag. Now to get home early and catch an art cheat. Gemma would seriously spew if she could see me now. Hey, gang. Time for your afternoon tea. Come and get it. <laughs> So that's how he does it, the rotten little sneak. I'll make you pay for this, Mark King. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. What is it? <laughs> Isn't that just Greg being Greg? Yes, but now he's being just a little too Greg. <laughs> now, Greg. It's not fair. It was just part of my research. Mum didn't need to get all crabby about it. Hi. I just wanted to say I think Mum's being very unfair. You do? Absolutely. Your research is very important. I think you're so clever. Since when? Forever. I'm always telling people how proud I am to have you as my brother. I've never heard you. You wouldn't want you to get a big head. So can you really make the emus do whatever you want them to? Well, my research isn't finished yet, but it looks like a definite maybe. Fab! I'd love you to show me. Tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, if you get up in time. Oh, I'll be up in time. I have very important things to do tomorrow morning. Very important. <laughs> OK, who's taking it? Gemma! Oh. Where you put it? Where's my painting? I'm sorry, Mark, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Come off it. You think you're so clever, don't you? Me? Do you think I'm clever, Kate? Oh, yeah. And scary. Definitely scary. You can't beat me that easy. I'll paint another one. Yes. Right where I want him. What's going on, Gemma? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Smart girl. Greg! Kate, when you're finished, can you take this lot up to the gate for me? OK. Now, remember, paper in the paper bin. Bottles in the bottle bin. Yeah, I know. Oh. Emus, where are you, emus? Come on, gang. Breakfast time. Emus? That's amazing. See, I told you they'd follow me. Just watching you, Greg, makes me feel proud to be a king. Emus, breakfast time. Have you seen enough? Um, not quite yet. Maybe ten minutes more. But then it'll be time for school. Exactly. <laughs> Have you seen the emus? Never mind. No time. I need art. Any art. Hey! Perfect. Excellent, Lisa. Now, that just leaves Mark. What flight of fancy do you have for us today, Mark? Oh, wasn't really in the mood last night. Oh, please show us, Mark. We're all dying to see. You've certainly outdone yourself this time, Mark. The cheat's been caught red-handed. A pizza box. Ham and pineapple, if I'm not mistaken. He's going to get 20 years' detention for this. 
Let me guess, you've just had strips torn off you and your paintings have been exposed for the frauds that they really are. No such luck. What do you mean? Sancha thinks I'm really imaginative and my paintings are very original. You've got to be kidding. I wish I was. There's a special art camp this weekend and Sandra wants me to go. What? But I'm the talented one in this family. I should be going on that art camp. You would be if you hadn't made me use that pizza box. What? Sandra loved it. She thought it was very inventive. That is so unfair. You're telling me. Now because of you, I can't go fishing with Conger and his dad. Serves you right. Maybe next time you won't get poor dumb animals to do your homework for you. Don't rub it in. We'd want to go fishing anyway. So smelly and disgusting. I couldn't think of anything worse. Really? Just wait till she finds out about tomorrow. So you reckon you got these emus sussed, eh, Greg? Listen, look, Lauren, for me it worked. I've cracked their communication code. And now you're going to prove it, right? You just watch. This is going to be the scientific discovery of the century. Prepare to be amazed. I'm prepared. Hey, come back! That's not where I told you to go. Come back! Emus! Don't feel too bad, mate. You can't rely on emus just when you think you got them sussed. They're off like a bunch of bullfeds. I don't understand it. They were perfect before. I tried to tell you. Yeah, I know, and I don't have a science project either. Don't worry, you can share mine. Really? Come on, I'll show you the garden. It looks great. Hurry up, Mark. You don't want to be late for art camp. Let's face it, this won't be the best weekend ever. At least I'm not the only one who'd rather be somewhere else. We're really so sorry that Mark had to pull out of the fishing trip at such short notice. Oh, not a problem. Just lucky you got another keen fisherman in the family. Mark is seriously going to pay for this. Telling Conga's dad that I love fishing. All set, darling? For the last time, Mummy, I absolutely refuse to go. But Mr Conga Lupus is the best real estate agent around. We need him to sell this place. But fishing, Mummy, I can't think of anything more revolting. Except not finding a buyer for the park? I hate the way Mummy's so right all the time. Looks like I'm going fishing. But I absolutely refuse to kiss any fish. 